Hello YouTube, it's Sean from the Pompey Games Room. So, back with a totally different video here. In the, um, well, was clearing up my room the other day, going through the collection, trimming it down a little bit, just seeing what I had. And uh, I found this, I remember it coming in. Um, and it is actually a uh, gaming catalogue from 1994 for Nintendo. So, here we've got the SNES, the NES, Game Boy, and the uh, seal of approval. So, yeah, like I said, I found this when I was clearing my room out. Um, basically, we're starting to pack things up now for the uh, for the move to our new house, hopefully within the next sort of two to three weeks. And um, this is one of the things that sort of, yeah, just uh, I've just hoarded. It's come in with some bits and bobs I've bought down the road and, you know, um, along the way. And, uh, yeah, so I thought we'd just quickly record it because the thing's in pretty good condition. I mean, you know, there's no scuffs or anything. It seems really, really good. So... Yeah, we're going to take a quick look now, and we'll go through page by page to see what's uh, what's happening on each page, really. But um, yeah, let's give it a go, shall we? So, yeah, basically, it's just outlining games. So we got um, there we go. Right. Okay. So we've got contents page here. Um, so it's basically just going through everything there. So we've got different categories. We've got some action games to the left. We then got some simulation games down here to the bottom left. Sport games. And uh, adventure, so just sort of scan through. So obviously Super Mario. So there's quite a lot of games covered in here. So sport games, and Nigel Mansell. So yeah, some absolute classics. Just scanning through this list. So um, we start off with Asterix here uh, for the Game Boy. So um, yeah, it's, it's not. Not a bad game actually, I played Asterix a little while ago, but funnily enough it's actually a SNES version, which uh, I'm actually just coming down to now, um, and uh, Infograms, uh, <laughs> Infograms, god, crazy, they made uh, Football Manager, oh no, what was it, Premier Manager 2000, a very, very addictive game for the PlayStation, um, an action game in Battletoads, never really saw the... Um, Appeal of Battletoads, if I'm being honest. I'm sure it's a pretty good game, but uh, yeah, looks looks okay here. Not too bad. A lot of people go on about it on YouTube. I've, I've got to admit, I've probably never actually given it a proper time of day, but um, yeah, so it's quite a good thing in uh, Battletoads here. Uh, we've got Mega Action, PC Action, Super, and GB Action. Only 99p. Some of those old magazines from back in the day. Then we've got a big, big stretch here for Konami in Lethal Enforcers, the gun game, light gun game, I should say. 94%. So, uh, yeah, they were, they were liking that one in this. We've also got Batman here. That's Batman Returns. Yeah, Batman Returns. They gave that 90%. <coughs> Hunt for Red October, a brilliant film. Plock? Never heard of that. Looks a bit like a Bubsy esque game, should we say? But, yep, yeah, Plock. Then onto a classic Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Absolute classic. The artwork on the Street Fighter games is just legendary. But 97%, uh, 96, so there's no ratings below 95% for Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Which I suppose makes sense, because at the time there was nothing out like it really. Um, it was such a great game, and uh, I think Mortal Kombat came out shortly after this, or just before actually I suppose, in 93, 94. So um, that was going to rival it. So, announcing Project Reality. So that would have been the Super FX chip, which made games like Star Fox, one of my favourite games of all time. And it's just explaining a little bit about here. Don't know if we can pause it. If you want to pause it and read through that, you're more than welcome, obviously. But there's a bit of blurb on it, and um, yeah, basically what's going to happen next in the gaming world. <laughs> it's crazy now, looking back at all this, because you know what happened, and that's the... Uh, that's the funny thing, you know, reading back now, there's so many things in here that probably didn't even come to an out, you know, didn't even come true. So, uh, yeah, but it's it's amazing looking back now, just seeing, you know, where it all started. First bits of publicity for it, before the internet, obviously. 
this was the main way of getting your message out. So, uh, yeah, little magazines like this. So, we've got some uh, other games here. Both Game Boy. Further down the list. So there's a lot of games here I don't actually... Uh, I don't actually know the um, names of. I mean, sorry, I, mean, I was, wasn't actually uh, recording it there. Yeah, it's funny you go through these things. I, I don't know if some of these don't get released or you know something like that. Hudson Soft, responsible for Mega Bomber Man, which I was just about to say until I saw the Mega Bomber Man, Super Mega Bomber Man, obviously on the Super Nintendo, Torican. 93% Super Torican 88% Got some Pang there Castle Quest Top right Action Games Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu For the NES What are they giving that? No rating I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing <coughs> We're back for the SNES. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Have heard of that one. <laughs> Zombies, awesome game. Memories of playing that actually rather than the Mega Drive version. Probably touched on that over the the uh, many videos I've now done on uh, Zombies. We've got Zool here. Yeah, I recently picked that up for Mega Drive. Wasn't that fussed about it. Yoshi Safari. Quite a pricey game, Yoshi Safari, for the SNES. If you've got a copy of it, you're probably laughing because it's it's worth a fair bit. We've got some more magazines here. The next level of Nintendo magazines, Super Mario Magic, Nintendo Zone, and Total Nintendo. Those three magazines. So Adventure Island, top left here. Adventure Island on the Game Boy as well. More Hudson soft goodness. Lawn Mower Man, an awful film. <laughs> Bubsy the Bobcat. So yeah, there's plenty in this magazine. I mean, it's, uh, it's basically like a pamphlet. You would have taken this for free back in the day, but... uh got Darkwing Duck. Never heard of that. 91% though, so uh, they must have been liking that. Got Goof Troop and DuckTales 2. Some write-ups on this. Felix the Cat. I remember Felix the Cat from when I was a kid. Not that game, but uh, the actual character I remember. We then got Nintendo consoles, basically an explained page. So if you were looking to buy a Nintendo console, this would have been the thing the uh, shop system probably would have fobbed you off with. So uh, just going through things here. The box sets here, obviously Street Fighter 2 Turbo set, which is readily available on eBay at the moment. Got some accessories here, so... Uh, the Scoremaster. Remember that being publicised on um, Games Master. So 18 pages in, and we're at the halfway point now. So we've got some Game Boy stuff here, some NES, and the Super Scope. Super Mario All Stars. Well, what can be said about this game's cartridge? Absolute legendary game. Um, well, games, 99%. Brilliant. 95, so it scored pretty heavily. Kirby's Adventure. Kirby's Dreamland as well. I remember playing that on the Game Boy actually, at one of my friend's houses. 94%. A lot of love the Kirby games get from back in the day. Some Ocean Classics. All the uh, Jurassic Park games on pretty much every single format <laughs> that was back in the day. Dennis the Menace. Mr. Nuts. Moita Magic, Tiny Toons Adventure. Actually, I played that the other day. It was quite funny. Quite a good game. Not bad. 94%. It's probably about right, actually, as a Konami game from back in the day. So we've got some more games here. This one is... What's this one? Utopia. Gremlin Graphics. Looks okay. Sort of like a god game. So here we go. Another big hitter in Zelda. 94%, 93%, 95%. <laughs> Some just 
fantastic artwork from back in the day for Zelda. So uh, yeah, publicised quite heavily here. What I'll do is I'll uh, just hover over here and you guys can pause it if you want to. But yeah, Zelda's a game series I've never really got into. Um, I appreciate it for all it's done in gaming, but uh, just something I've never really got into. Young Merlin. So I want adventure games here. Below it is Cool Spot, a game I again picked up for the Super Nintendo. Uh, Super Nintendo. God, Nintendo on the brain at the moment. Um, for the Mega Drive. And uh, yeah, it was alright. wasn't too bad. Third number two. Muhammad Ali. Heavyweight Boxing by Virgin. I remember playing this back in the day and it's a game that Retro Dave Nintendo has recently picked up from a uh, basic, well not picked up, it was gifted to him by uh, Sega Saturn Lad. Uh, great little channel actually, Sega Saturn Lad. Love him watching his content at the moment. So we've got some Nigel Mansell games here with uh, some, yeah, basically a uh, classic old picture with Mansell, Senna and Schumacher there in the picture in the background. Great, great picture. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't look too bad. But obviously with games like, um, he's wearing a flat cap in that. That's not going to protect him against anything, considering he's in the car at the moment. <laughs> That's something I'll share with you. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, at this time, um, virtual racing would have been coming out, so this game probably wouldn't have been blown out of the water by that. Striker, an awful football game. I remember playing that, didn't like it at all. 93%, 94%. Oh, look at that perm on that. Jesus. Kevin Keegan, player manager. I remember that back in the day. It wasn't a bad game, actually. Yeah, 95%. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree with that. It wasn't great, but it was it was definitely a... Well, it, was, it was okay. I've done it sort of the uh, wrong way. Yeah? I should have really gone this way. F1 pole position. Now, I've never actually played F1 pole position, but it might just be I've played it and I don't recognise this box art. Maybe they changed it, but uh, yeah. James Pond, crazy sport. And we've got virtual soccer. Played virtual soccer, wasn't that impressed with that, but uh, Mario Paint. Another big write up on Mario Paint with the mouse and uh, things like that. Megalomania. Tetris, classic Tetris, Tetris 2 actually. Troddlers, this was supposed to be a rip off of Lemmings wasn't it? If that'll focus, yeah it looks very very Lemmings-esque, 90%, 89%. I have seen Troddlers actually, uh, but never played it, but yeah it doesn't look bad. Starwing, massive massive thing on Starwing here, double page spread. So yeah, just uh, obviously it introduced it earlier on in this little uh, magazine. And some, you know, I mean, just back in the day, looking back at this, if you had seen this in the, in the uh, supermarket or wherever you were when you picked this up, um, say like Argos or something, or um, Electronic Boutique, I suppose, and you saw these sort of graphics for a SNES game, you know, you would have been thinking, geez, I've got to get this. Who to call? Well, these were these legendary phone lines where they were an absolute fortune to call from memory. I'm just looking through for the price, but um, yeah, they were basically, they would help you with um, with cheats and stuff. But actually now thinking about it, this uh, actually looks like a Nintendo hotline, so it might not have been so extortionate. But um, yeah, if you want to call them, if you're stuck on any of these games, there's your number. But um, yeah, look at that as a job. What do you do for a job? Well, I just play computer games. Unemployed? No, just play computer games. So what we got going on here? We got some. Uh, oh, zooming in the wrong part. We got some Super Mario there with the uh, with the guy with the ponytail. Uh, is that some sort of tennis game? And Super Mario World. Yeah, they're they're having a great time. So we've got some more bits and bobs going on here. Does your office look like this? <laughs> I know mine doesn't. So, uh, but um, yeah, so if you've got any problems with these games here, give them a call. I wonder if that still works actually. 
Yeah. And that's it, guys. So, little Nintendo magazine here. Basically, just going through, um, you know, publicising here, Nintendo. The Nintendo magazine. Out every month on sale from the 19th of every month, if you're interested. Is that still the case? Not too sure. I don't really buy Nintendo magazines, but... Uh, yeah, I was hoping this would be a short video, but um, I've just looked at the time and it's coming up to 16 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so, what we got here then? We've got 35 pages of Nintendo goodness. Um, yeah, great look back on nowadays, these little things, um, because they're a proper sort of capsule in past, basically. Um, and it's in pretty good condition as well, so I'll definitely keep this in. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope this has been of some interest. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.